Welcome back everybody, Boops here, today with a short little video. I thought I'd talk to you guys about my experience with the PS5 controllers breaking, and we'll also take a look at my PS4 controllers. So these are my two main PS5 controllers that I don't really use anymore, they're kind of extra controllers right now. One of them came with the console and the other one I bought separately. Pretty good luck with these controllers in terms of um, them dying or being damaged. Uh, one of the controllers, uh, the L3, does not work anymore, or it's, it works maybe 10% of the time. Um, so that really sucks. So I stopped using this one. And then the other controller, the analog port for the headset, got damaged, and the, the headset would never work it would constantly disconnect and reconnect so that was a nightmare but yeah when people are over they can still usually use these controllers as extra controllers for a second player i did end up getting myself a new one here the blue one had to get blue there's my control freaks i can't play without control freaks i always get new control freaks while once these go out and you can see this one's pretty bad you can just kind of rotate it often and just get like a new portion of it, but yeah, gotta get a new one soon. So yeah, I think in general I've got pretty lucky with the PS5 controllers. These two are still working condition, I would say. Um, and then this one is the new one that still works perfectly fine. Real quick, we can take a look at my PS4 controllers. I think in general I went through six PS4 controllers over its lifetime. Um, here's just the basic, you know, PS4 controller. Um, what I have attached is, let me find the name. Okay. It's called the Strike Pack Dominator FPS, or Strike Pack FPS Dominator. And it's essentially paddles. Um, it connects into your USB, and it gives you another USB. You still have access, or you don't have access to your, uh, headset, so it gives you a different headset port you got your triggers here it works perfectly for me I know some people with smaller hands were complaining that they're not in a good spot for them I'm assuming their fingers end a little shorter um, these are also detachable you could possibly get replacements back in the day I'm sure they still sell this and I believe this is a wired only version, so you can't play with a wireless controller, you have to have it wired into the PS4, which is kind of preferred if you're playing, you know, a competitive game and you want an advantage, and you already got paddles, you might as well go, go, go wired. Um, I have another PS4 controller here. This one is newer, I think this is probably the last PS4 controller I used, I think it's still in working condition. Um, this one has the PlayStation official paddles with the OLED screen. Uh, so very similar. Well, actually, no, not very similar design. These are completely different. Um, this one I know people with smaller hands were, were loving. Because it, 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 it works for both people. It works for everyone. Your fingers naturally rest there. It's perfect. You got an OLED screen that you can tap on to do all the presets. Yeah, on here, I think the presets are done using these two buttons here. There's also a bunch of other modes on this device. Uh, these LEDs would tell you what mode you're on. There's like non-tournament compliant modes where you can get like, I guess it would be the, if you switch this to your trigger, you can get like, you know, crazy fire rates, all that shit. But yeah, these were the two main paddles I love to use with the PS4. And then finally, I decided to do this video because I just went out and got this guy. Here is the PlayStation 5, uh, what would you call it? Professional or competitive edge controller? Super dope. This is the first time I'm looking at it. You can do a little comparison, I guess, with a white one. It's actually almost identical. That's kind of cool. The buttons are, of course, black. This has a different type of trim on it. You got your 
function buttons to quickly map your triggers, which we don't have in right now. Um, there's your... Oh, this is so cool. This is how far your triggers can go, and then you can switch it to halfway, so they stop halfway, or short, or super short. There's a release button here. Wow, that's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Wow. Okay, so that releases your cover, and now... Oh, you just pull up on these. Boom. Oh, and it slides. Yeah. Look at that. That is so trippy. I'm now holding the analog stick component. These sell for, I think, $25 in Canada. It's not a bad deal to get a new analog stick. And as you saw there, it's so easy to just grab a new one. You push it in, and this lever will actually push it and hold it in place. You got your cover. Nice. That was super easy. All your regular buttons. There's your function buttons to switch the paddle controls. We got two sets of paddles in here. We got these tiny guys. There we go, camera. These are metal too. These are nice. Feel nice. We can see how what that would look like. Oh wow, that was super easy. I think that was a magnet. There's your one paddle there. That feels good. But what I prefer are these. Pull these guys out. Left bumper, I think. Yep. Right bumper. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah, that feels that feels great. I love that. That's what it looks like. I'll probably end up fucking around with these a bit. And then you have your cable release here. This is really cool. This connects into here. It locks in place. Okay. Yeah, that holds your cable. There's a little bit of play. I unlock it. I break it. And then finally, you get different analog sticks here. Which are super dope. If you don't want to buy... Get one camera. If you don't want to buy, you know, control freaks, you already have a bunch of options here. Throw these guys on. I'll have to get more sets of these. That's perfect. They fit just like on the PS5 controller. We got our paddles. And then I will most likely play wired because I sit really close to the PS5 and why not? So we got a super nice cable here. Maybe I'll use my own cable to start off with and save this one. But this is super dope. I'm assuming it's gonna be difficult to close with these on. You probably want to take these off when you're not using them. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed a little inside look into my old controllers and my new controllers. I'm going to start doing more videos like this, little small ones just talking about random stuff. So, Once again, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Later.